welcome back to my channel today I'm going to read a true story yes it is a true story of Inky the whale one day I went to driving license office with my mom and dad there was a police officer and he gave me this book I like the book of Inky the Whale so much. There's also little puzzle inside this book. Let's start reading and please like and subscribe to my channel. This is a true story of Inky the Whale. Inky was a young pygmy sperm whale. She was happy living in the ocean, but careless people left litter on the shore and in the water. Inky became very sick and weak. She drifted to shore and was beached when the tide went out. People found her there and decided to try and save her. They called a U.S. Coast Guard helicopter to lift her off the beach. When the litter got into the water, some of it looked just like Inky's favorite food, squid. She ate some of the trash. See, they gave a little puzzle. I finished it. And the most important thing at the beach is don't throw trash. We should not throw trash in water. That's not good for water animals. Only throw trash in trash cans. Okay, now let's continue reading our Inky story. Inky was taken by truck to the National Aquarium in Baltimore. Animal doctor there would try to find out why Inky was so sick. The doctors found trash like plastic bags and part of a balloon in Inky's stomach. The trash blocked her stomach so she could not eat. That was why she was so sick. After her stomach was cleared, Inky began to eat again. Soon she started to gain weight, swim around her pool, and produce the ink that she was named for. See, here they gave us a word hunt and I completed it. Streams Lakes and rivers flow into the ocean. Litter left near or in any of these areas can end up harming wildlife like Inky many miles away. Now that Inky was well, she was flown to Florida and put on a ship that would release her into the ocean. A monitor was put on Inky and she was followed to make sure she was all right. After a few days, the monitor dropped off. She was just fine. 
It was time for all her friends on the ship to say goodbye to Inky. They hoped that Inky would not get sick again because of trash still in the water. Inky was happy to be back in the ocean again. She was soon diving deep for her favorite food. It is up to us to help protect Inky from getting sick again. Here they gave crosswords and I completed it. Help Inky find her way back to the ocean and learn what you can do to help protect Inky. To protect water animals like Inky, we should recycle plastic bottles, don't release balloons into the air, reuse plastic bags in your lunchbox, put all trash in trash cans, and help clean up a beach in your community. This story inspired me a lot. The thing that I learned in this book is don't throw trash anywhere, only in trash cans. I hope you all like this inky story. Thanks for watching!